He does that a lot. <laughs> All right, your next comic coming to the stage, guys. Give it up for Vanka Dykes. Yeah. Vance Dykes. Vance Dykes, whatever. Yeah. Give it up for Vance Dykes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, how's everybody doing tonight? Woo. That's great. This is my friend, Broom Broom. She's a witch, as you can see. But don't worry, she's not dangerous. She's just incredibly stupid. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, that's all she ever says. Broom broom. No, she doesn't say anything else. She just says broom broom, broom broom, broom broom, broom broom, broom broom, You see what I mean? I don't even think that's her real name. Come to think of it, I don't think she even has a name at all. But when my friends and I met her many years ago, we just said, you know what? That's all she ever says. I think it would make sense just to call her broom broom, and we've been calling her broom broom ever since. Yeah. So. Here's what's gonna happen tonight. I'm gonna do a little stand-up comedy, and um, Broom Broom's gonna sit next to me, and she's just gonna be stupid. You know it's true. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Whatever. All right, so this is my third time coming here to Grumpy's, and I love this place because the environment is just so politically incorrect, I feel right at home. But I'm gonna tell you guys the story about the first time that I ever came to Grumpy's. Broom Broom, please don't interrupt me when I'm trying to tell a story. All right, so with the exception for the fact that I do have an online fiance who lives in the Philippines, so we're talking very long distance, I'm pretty much a single man, which pretty means I live, I live a sad, lonely, depressing life. Aside from the fact that I'm laughing, don't let my laughter, don't let it fool you. Seriously, I mean, every single night, I just go home and sleep in a cold, lonely, empty bed. I know, it's sad, isn't it? So I came, I come here to the bar, and I say to myself, you know what, I might get lucky tonight, because, you know, a lot of people meet at the bar. Am I right, or am I right? Yeah. 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 We've all heard the stories. Boy meets girl, girl likes boy, they flirt with each other, he's buying her a drink, and by the time the night's over, somebody has HIV. I was kind of joking about the um, HIV thing. So I think, you know what, maybe I might get lucky, you know, someone may come into the bar and sit next to me and we may have a few drinks and it'll be a great night. And by the will of almighty God, that is exactly what happens. Someone comes into the bar and sits next to me. It was a transvestite. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but you know, sometimes you just have to laugh in order to protect your sanity. And I could tell that this person had the hots for me. You could tell the way how this person was looking at me, the way how this person was smiling at me, and even the way how this person just kept on touching my hand and arm. Isn't it romantic? Not really. You know, I have nothing against transvestites. I really don't. It's just that I'm not romantically interested in transvestites. They're just not my taste. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. And the truth will set you free. And I imagine myself having a conversation with God. I'm saying, really, God? This was the best you could do for me? I asked for a woman who looks like Mariah Carey, and you give me a woman who looks like Will Smith. And he's up there in heaven, he's sitting on his throne, he's laughing his head off, he's having the time of his eternal life. He's like, <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm glad somebody's laughing and having a good time. I know, right? And then God says, Vance, I have a reason for letting this happen. And I'm like, what's the reason? And he says, because I want you to focus on what you're doing here in the first place. You're not here to pick up girls. You're here to entertain the audience. I want you to focus on what you're doing, and I want you to succeed in your goal. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good point. And you know what? It worked. It really did, because I came here the next night, and I gave my performance, and everything worked out just fine. So you were right, God. Thank you very much. Yeah, so that's the story of the time that I came here to Grumpy's, my very first time coming here to Grumpy's. And it's going in the history books as the night that I had drinks with a transvestite. Wow. I don't yeah. I don't remember what this person was drinking, but all I know is I had I had a seven up soda. 
which means I was sober. Which was good because I needed to make absolutely sure that nothing happened between me and this person because the last thing that I need is to tell the whole world how the heck I got an STD from a transvestite. All right, Broom Broom, we're about ready to um, end our um, performance. But before we go, do you have anything you want to say to the crowd? Boom! That's what I thought. You guys have been a great audience. Thanks very much and good night. Give it up for Broom Broom. <laughs> Who's the tranny? Okay. The tranny? Yeah, right. I'm the one who does all the training. Broom Broom! And then I give her a chocolate chip See, cookie. No, no, no. <laughs> the transvestite person. <laughs> oh, um, I can't remember. The I'm the one that is the tranny. <laughs> I can't remember the person's name. I think it was either Sheba or Seba. I can't remember. Sheba or Seba? I forgot Sheba. Sheba. If it was Sheba, I would have remembered because that's a name that's easy for me to remember. <laughs> anyway, give it up for Brooke Brooke one more time. <laughs> I got nothing. All right, your next comic comes today.